Good morning again, uh, Tuesday, March 31st. Welcome back for our phonics lesson for today. First, I want to go over uh, what we did yesterday. I had two students send me um, some of their work that they did uh, based on our, our CVC, our Constant Vowel Consonant lesson yesterday. So I'm looking on the Class Dojo, which is where um, I'm uh, recommending kids send work through um, texting or adding it to the portfolio. Um, so Kasaira uh, sent me her work, and I'm going to write this in blue so you can write it too if you're doing this at home and you're reviewing your work from yesterday. If you didn't write these words down, you can write them now too. What's in blue? You write too. So, mark her open here. So, Kasaira said uh, when she was sorting her consonant vowel consonant words, under the letter A, we would put the word cat, which we see right here. So, at. And remember yesterday at the end of our lesson I said too, when you're doing this, try to write the word without looking at it. Because, you know, when we were in class, you all were able to write down CVC or words without um, looking. You were able to sound them out. So we did cat. Pass that off. Cassira said under E, we have hen, which I see here. So, eh. Hmm, hen. She said pet, which we see here. So we have et. She said dig, which I see. We have d, i, g, making dig. Under o, she has she has dog, which I wrote, um, and she has pot. She has another one too, but I have another student who also sent some work, so I want to give her um, a shout out too. And so let's see, pot, and we have run. So, uh, mm, run, okay? So those were some of Kasaira's answers. Uh, now, Gianna also sent me some work. So let me go to Gianna's portfolio here. Okay, so Gianna also had cat, she had hen and pet, she had dig, and she also had big right here. So b, i, g. And this was a common mix-up in our classroom, as it often is um, with children this age, the, the D and the B. Something we did in our class was, uh, you know, if you find your, that you're mixing that up, we created a chart, a T chart, that literally had B on one side and D on the other side. And we wrote words that started with B, 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 and words that started with D, D, D. And the kids use that as a reference sometimes if they'd be sounding on a word. What does a B look like? What does a D look like? Because um, those are two letters that are very easy to get mixed up. All right, what else does Gianna have here? So under O, she has dog, pot, and she has top. So t, a, uh, top. And under U, she has run, and she also has a bug. So we have b, a, uh, g. Excellent job, Kasira and Gianna. Thank you for sending me your work. If you're looking at this at home, don't think, oh, Mrs. Hill, already went over. It's too late to send her a picture of my work. It is not. Feel free to send me a picture through the dojo, and I can upload it to your portfolio so that it's there. Okay? So now moving into our lesson for today, I am going to uncover um, underneath here our uh, word wall and our vowels so that we can use that today if we need it. Okay. All right, so today's lesson, we're going to be focusing on twin consonants, okay? Twin consonants. This is a review lesson. We have worked on twin consonants um, in, our, in our class already. And uh, we actually have a set of twins in kindergarten. One is in my classroom, one is in the other kindergarten. And so I use them as an example, like you two are twins, all right? So think of twin consonants, all right, the same letter, right? So we have double T, we have TT. L, L, F, F, and S, S, all right? So we're going to be looking for twin consonants today. Similar as yesterday, I'm going to give you a minute to read the sentences. If you can read them totally on your own by sounding things out or knowing, recognizing the sight words like that, then when I post this video, I'm going to give you um, 
um, minute marker where you can jump ahead because if you can read these sentences on your own you don't need the next part of this lesson so you can jump ahead if you need to so take a minute to go ahead and see if you can read those sentences um, on your own and if you struggle a little bit no big deal I'm gonna help you uh, to read it then so take a minute on your own So again, this is the time that if you read those sentences totally on your own, you didn't need any help from any adults or anything like that, then you can check the comments and find out which uh, minute marker you uh, should jump ahead to because you do not need the next part of this lesson. If you needed a little bit of help and you still need some help sounding words out and recognizing sight words, then that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to look at the first sentence right here. Okay, so that we can see which that is. I'm going to box around this. So just like yesterday, if you have a highlighter, crayon, marker, uh, I don't have a highlighter, but an orange or a yellow uh, marker will work. Um, don't use a dark marker because then you'll cover up the word completely. You won't even be able to see what it what it um, says. Um, hopefully you either had a chance to print this out or had someone rewrite it for you, or you could even pause the video right now and rewrite the sentences yourself so that you can um, highlight with me. So if you need to do that, just go ahead and pause and write the sentence that you see right here, okay? All right, so let's look for sight words first, all right? So we have our sight words over here. So let's take a minute and review our sight words. So let's do my turn, your turn. So I'll say the word and then you repeat it at home. Ready? Was, will, into, said, have, of, off, my, jump, love, six, is, blue, red, what, do, you, and, help, did, like, to, I, can, see, a, uh, the, little, has, on. Okay. So let's see what sight words that we have over here. Um, look at this first sentence and see if you recognize any. I recognize this as a sight word. Say it if you know it. I recognize this as a sight word. Say it if you know it. This is a sight word. Say it if you know it. This is a sight word. Say it if you know it. Sight word. Say it if you know it. And this is a sight word. Say it if you know it. Ready? We have has, to, the, off, off has two Fs, of has one, so off, of, and my. And I believe all of these sight words are on our list already, but let's make sure. Has, there's has, to, to, the, the, off, off, of, and my. So those are our sight words that we should be, or snap words I call them sometimes, you should look at them and just know them at the snap of a finger. Because these are words that we see very often in our reading. So if we have these words memorized, we will be more fluent readers. Also, a lot of sight words or snap words don't follow the rules for sounding out words. So sometimes you just have to know them by, by looking at them. Okay? So now let's look at the other words that we have and try to sound them out, okay? So, I'm gonna sound out this word, and I see that this word has a double consonant. Um, here, I'm sorry, a twin consonant, we're gonna call it. 
So the twin consonant that I see, I see the T and the T. So I know that this word has a twin consonant. So when I sort it later, I'm going to put it down here under TT. Now when I'm sounding out a word with twin consonants, and again, this is review, I'm not going to sound it out, the T out twice. I'm not going to say T, T when I say this word. When I see a twin consonant, I just say the sound for the letter once. So I would say this as T. Also in phonics, we do, in our Saxon phonics, we do not code our twin consonants. All right, we don't code them. So um, I'm going to sound this word out. I see m, a, t, mat. Okay, so that word is mat. And I'm going to code my vowel here. Okay, short, short a, mat. Okay, so I have mat has to p, uh, oh, pole. There's another twin consonant. The, m, it. Remember, I just say the, the double uh, twin consonant, the sound one time. M, it, mit, off of my, wow, look, I see a sight word here. Look at the sight word in this word. That sight word is and. Let's add an H to the front. And, hand. Let's try rereading it. Ready? Matt has to pull the mitt off of my hand. Okay. Let's try the next sentence. So we have the sentence down here. So take a minute and go through and see if you can find sight words. I'll give you a minute to do that before I show you. Highlight the sight words. All right, so I see the, again, beginning of the sentence, Capital letter, which is why we have capital T. Now, yesterday when we talked about the word big, we used it as a consonant vowel consonant word, a CVC word. It is. In our classroom, though, also, it is one of our sight words. So today, I'm going to go ahead and highlight big, and I'm going to add it to our chart because I don't think we have it over there. So big. Okay. Let's see. What else? I see and. Mm. This is a sight word that we have on our wall. We don't have it up here yet, but we have this on our wall at school. Let's see if you know what that is before I tell you. And we have a uh, or a. I switch back and forth. Sometimes I say uh, sometimes I say a. Uh, all right. You know what this word is? This is on our word wall at school. You could also sound this word out by using a macron over top of the a. The a says its own name, and we don't hear the e. So we could actually sound this one out. Mm, aid, made. I'm going to add it to our word wall over there. It looks like tomorrow when we come back to this, we're going to need a new piece of paper for our word wall. So, whoops, made. I don't know what I was starting to write there. Made, okay, made. All right, so we have the big and made a or a. Let's sound the other words out. So, we have a, e, g, egg, l, fell, m, s, mess. Let's try reading the sentence now. Ready? The big egg fell and made a mess. Good. So now we're going to, we, we read our sentences, right? Let's look at the directions. It says read the sentences, done. Then it says sort the words by twin consonants. So down here are all my twin consonants that we're going to see up top. So I'm going to do one with you. And this is where if you skipped ahead over the last part of the lesson because you read the sentences on your own, you should be joining us now for this part to um, have, I'm going to go ahead and do an example of what I'd like you to do. And then you can uh, finish it on your own and have your parents send me a picture of your work. And I'll give you a shout out tomorrow morning when we do our next phonics lesson. So I'm writing in blue. So you're writing too. The first word that I see that has a twin consonant is the word mat. The twin consonant that I see is the TT. So I'm going to come down here and I see TT and I'm going to rewrite mat. I am going to start with a capital letter because it is someone's name. So the beginning of sentence and all, sentences and also proper nouns 
specific names of people or restaurants or places like that, we always put a capital letter. So Matt um, has a capital letter, twin consonants, the double T. So that's going to go under there. So I've done that. I'm going to cross that one off. So go ahead and maybe go through and circle all the words that have twin consonants first um, so that they stand out to you. And then go ahead and sort them down below. Um, and looking at our schedule. So I mentioned during our read aloud this morning that I posted a science video for SciShow Kids um, about the five fabulous food groups that goes along with our read aloud lesson that we did this morning. There's also some extra books on getepic.com if you want to read those that go along with our read aloud. Um, so I'm going to post a link. I know I posted this on the dojo yesterday, but I'm going to repost a link if your kids are getting sick of doing the sight word dance song. I know in school they begged to do that. They loved it. But if they are getting sick of doing that, Activity Works is allowing access um, for I think most of the schools in the Philly school district during this time. So that, you know, usually the teacher would need a login to log in. But um, the, the Activity Works company is Letting everyone log in. And for us, I believe the username is Ludlow and the password is Philadelphia. Capital L for Ludlow, capital P for Philadelphia. I will put that information in the post also. Um, don't forget to do drop everything and read. And our class was up to uh, sitting and reading silently. There are books from their book boxes for at least 15 minutes. Um, let's see. Be helpful. Do a chore around the house. And then I will see you back here this afternoon for our math lesson. And then later on also for our writing lesson, which will be um, continuing our how-to paragraph and using a mentor text that we read this morning for Read Aloud Pizza at Sally's. So I will see you later today.